somebody might well wonder, why do we need uh, to worry about technology when the world is awash with oil and prices where they are today? I would like to uh, look forward that 30 years or so to 2050, where we see energy demand growing by some 60%. Costs have increased dramatically in the past years, essentially since 2005 driven by the cost of labor and raw material, but not exclusively. Before we have drones, sea trial commissioning work was only available at clear day to take photos by chopper with the human photographer. Now, drones provide easier photo days. Not all companies in the upstream service industry will have the size, capability and appetite to take on the challenge of driving industry performance forward, but we certainly intend to lead the way. Not to forget the immense potential of mature fields in the Middle East. You only need to think of the possibilities that would arise if we were able to increase the recovery rate by a couple percent. At atmospheric condition, to transport gas is an issue, which is why you have, you're going to continue to see this connection between the, essentially the US market, European market, and Asian market. Let's not have a debate of, well, just let's bring on renewables and forget oil and gas. Oil and gas have to be part of the future, and we have to be part of that debate. We have to have uh, some innovations in the EPC uh, contractors, and also, the, according to the our experience is that uh, we need a very strong tie-up with the company, co companies so that we does not go different way. Abu Dhabi has really taken a visionary uh, position on uh, this issue uh, of uh, energies of the future. Other INOCs, and I'm calling these international national oil companies, these are uh, national companies that have morphed into international to the international realm. As we've seen here in Abu Dhabi, NOC IOC partnerships are critical to ensuring that our industry has the resources, strengths, and capacity to meet the challenges we face together. I believe this meeting, I mean the other pack, have more folks on our industry the challenges and opportunity. I firmly believe the fruitful will be hired by the other pack. The value that's in uh, the mature fields, that 1% can add a huge uh, volume, especially in our region with our uh, uh, incredible reservoirs. A field with existing facilities, uh, water injection, some existing facilities of gas injection, by simply uh, applying the uh, basic rules of uh, water alternating gas, has uh, showed a drastic improvement in the, in the field profile. And these industry challenges cannot be solved by one company alone or one government alone. A joint effort is in needed. This new price environment has no impact on our growth strategy. That it, we will continue to do exactly what we said we want to do. Uh, but now it's, it's to try to find the right um, expectations uh, worldwide. As we, we all become more sophisticated in our ways, you know, we're able to kind of bring that back, bring that together, and bring that diversity together between the ISCs and the NOCs. And as we get more sophisticated, that it really brings a more powerful kind of solution to the problem. Working together uh, really can be benefit from you know low price uh, service providers. I think in uh, our long run is that. Uh, we must have the uh, service company, service providers uh, together with us uh, to meet the, uh, the challenges for the next couple of decades. The best way to manage, I think, is a buy-in, buy-in from everybody, understanding, first of all, from a technological point of view, what is the advantage in bringing the technology within uh, that country and uh, to the NOCs, and the advantage for the NOCs also to uh, absorb uh, uh, that technology. Whether you believe it's the oil price to be low for a period of time or not. Um, and that's up for the, each and one of the companies to, to make up their minds, I guess. Um, then, of course, it's always about trying to build robust projects that actually can withstand such a, such, such a dip uh, like we most likely is experiencing now. We're also experiencing an exit of very experienced workforce but the young workforce brings forward with them enthusiasm, new ideas, 
And I think you also recognize a better use of some of the modern technology that we see coming forward. Big projects, you are not really for learning, you are really for success. Learning should be done sometime earlier. And you are here to really fulfill and to get the fruits of all those cumulative years of experience. We are not chasing the critical path, but we start chasing the critical numbers. You now we are looking at activities which can give us the progress so that the picture looks good. With the increasing uh, demand of energy, EMB organizations worldwide are looking for a better ways to execute, manage, and deliver their portfolios. Shell's current and future success depends on the delivery of projects for the promised cost, promised schedule, and promised production. The EPC contractor and lump sum basis worked very well, mm. provided that a pre-dialogue takes place mm. and the consideration of, the, considera of the, the concerns of the EPC contractors are also factored in the full package of the EPC contractor. Different people have different strengths. And like the famous expression, horses for the courses.